With Harry and Meghan about to say, I do, some are saying, I can't, take it. Their faces are plastered on everything from creepy party masks to Pez dispensers to a Harry air freshener, mango scented. There have been costume contests. Everybody is going to London with us. And look-alike contests. The winners of the EasyJet competition got free flights for a year. And TV anchors seem fascinated with wearing that half a hat, the fascinator. Oh, and it's looking really what? groovy. Oh, groovy. Oh, look. It's going to my head. Eve Berry on New York's 57th Street is seeing a boom thanks to the Royals. How much is this one? 62. And if you don't wear hats, how about a personalized swimsuit graced with Harry and Meghan? Hope the beard doesn't scratch. Naturally, the wedding brings out warmth and love. There's no bigger media vulture with this wedding than you. Is there, Miss Markle? Miss Markle, the bride's half-sister. You're doing a book called The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. You've been trashing her for two okay. years, you little vulture. Deluged with royal trivia, we've learned the names of horses that will pull the royal carriage, Storm and Tyrone, father and son, and the names of guests. Elton John has been invited, and so have members of the Spice Girls. But maybe you haven't heard the name Crown Jewels Condoms, promising a royal union of pleasure. And featuring patriotic music when you open the box, you can buy a life-size royal cutout or bang this drum. There will soon be royal pot. Markle Sparkle Marijuana, marketed by a cannabis-growing nephew of Megan's, and how about a bowl of cereal while watching the nuptials? Harry and Meghan's Wedding Rings breakfast cereal. Slip one of those on her finger, Harry. Genie Mo, CNN, New York.